So, we haven't done this in a while. Um, like formally with a video and all of that stuff. But um, you may have noticed that our last lesson was lesson nine, and today's lesson is lesson eight. Oh, shoot. Um, what? Yeah. Um, Board should be on the brown side up. Brown side up. Yep. I'll wait till I see it. Mm -hmm. All right. Cool. So we're doing lesson eight. So lesson eight says add fractions to and subtract fractions from whole numbers using equivalents and the number line as strategies. So um, we are going to change the fractions a little bit. Um, so we are, I said we were going to take a break from that, but like we're still going to kind of use it. But it's just a little different. Like our focus is going to be on the number line, okay? So the number line is like our main focus today. Um, so we're going to add and subtract. So we haven't, add, we haven't subtracted in a while. We've been doing mostly adding, okay? So um, yeah, so we're going to add and subtract fractions to and from whole numbers, okay? So are we going to start with a fraction? No. no. We're most likely we're going to start with a whole number, okay? Um, so yeah, we're get, we're our numbers are getting a little bigger, okay? So to help with that, we're going to start with this, okay? Um, just as a little warm up, okay? Um, so if I started with two, okay, I have two. Let's see. I'm going back to markers. That's my manipulatives, okay? If I have two, one, two, and then I add one fifth to it, I have what? Go. One and one fifth. Eleven fifths. Mm, not quite. Okay. Two plus one fifth. Two plus one fifth oh. equals what? Eleven fifths. Two and one fifth. Okay. Yeah, I thought you said like two plus one. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta be careful with that, right? Two plus one fifth. Okay? So, two, and here's a fifth of a marker, okay? Two plus one fifth gives me two and one fifth. Two and one fifth, okay? Um, it's easier than it than it seems, okay? Two plus four fifths gives me what? Um, two and four fifths. Two and four fifths. Yes, 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 yes. Good. Okay. Um, what if I had Five, oop, five plus seven eighths. Ready, go. Five, five seven, seven eighths. eighths. Good. I want you to say five and seven eighths. Ready, go. Five, five and seven eighths. eighths. Five and seven eighths. All right. Eight what if I had three plus seven twelfths? Go. Three, three seven twelfths. Seven good. Twelfths. Good. Three and seven twelfths. Right? That addition symbol means and. So three and seven twelfths. Whenever we have a mixed number like this, okay, um, it's we say and. So the whole number, we say the whole number three, and then we say and the fraction. Okay? Um, everybody with me so far on that? Yes. Okay. This will be super important for today's lesson. So then over here, let's see. Um, yeah, so it just kind of has it in... Um, the opposite way, okay? So five and one half equals five plus one half, right? So two and three fourths, if I would write that as a fraction, two and three fourths, what would the addition sentence be? Raise your hand. Raise your hand. What's the addition sentence? Charlie, go. Um, two plus three fourths. Two plus three fourths. Good, yes. All right, class, you're going to tell me this one when I say go. So one and five sixths, okay? The addition sentence would be what? Go. One plus five six. Yes. Okay. Any questions on this? No. Cool. Okay. All right. Moving on. We're going to go quick. Okay. So it says, what addition problem would match this picture? So over here, I see that I have one hole, right? This model is all completely shaded in. So that is one hole. Okay. I know that this is one. This is the exact same as that, right? It matches. So if this is one hole, I can assume that this is one hole, okay? Over here, I have one, two, three, four parts, and three of them are colored in. Three out of four are colored in. So my addition sentence over here is one plus one and three fourths. Do you agree? Yep. Okay. Oops. Charlie. Can you also do two plus three fourths? So you already added it. That would be like... 
adding it already. So you're not incorrect, that is totally correct. But if we're just showing what is shown up here, it's one plus one and three fourths, right? One and three fourths go together. Um, that's what's being shown in here. And then we're adding one to that. But you are, you're on the next step of how we would actually add that together. So good job. All right, so then next, yeah, here is our problem. One plus one and three fourths. So today, remember I said you guys are gonna show it on the number line. And I would be paying super close attention because this is all visual today, okay? It's all visual. So I would be making sure that we're looking carefully, okay? So on a number line, good rule of thumb is to just make sure you put your zero, your one, and maybe a two on there, okay? Today we're going to be going up to like two and beyond. So um, you're gonna need at least two on your number line. So when you start your number line, just straight away put zero, one, two. I would just say start with that. You may have to extend it and add three, okay? Um, but we're not gonna go into like, Negative um, yes. Uh, could you put like the one and the two, like, like not four in the middle? Like, 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 yeah, no, 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 totally. Um, you can put, um, like you could literally put like zero over here and one a little closer, the two, like totally up to you, but I'm just telling you for today, you are most likely going to need at least zero, one, and two. You may need three, you may need four, you know, we'll have to see, okay? Uh, but for this problem, okay, whoever's listening, please stop. Okay, I'm just, stop, stop, just, that person knows who they are and they will stop, okay? All right, cool. So, it's very similar to what we did in the beginning of this module where we start at zero, okay? And then we're going to go to one, right? So, one. So we are at one, and then it wants us to add one and three fourths to one, okay? So we're gonna add one, okay? And then we're gonna add three fourths. Is three fourths a whole number? No. no. So am I gonna go from two to three? No. no, okay? I'm going to go to about three quarters of the way to three, right? So one good thing to do with this is split up your number line into the unit that you're working with. So I'm working with fourths, so one, two, three, uh, hold on, sorry. Yeah, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, let me think, okay? All right. Uh, yeah, so um, if I'm adding my three-fourths, right, here's one-fourth, two-fourths, three-fourths. Where would four-fourths be? The three. The three, okay, is it coming back to you a little bit? Yeah. Yeah, good, okay. Um, or I guess actually technically it would be, um, it would be something different. But anyway, it doesn't matter too much, okay? So we've added one. We started at one. We added one. Now we're going to add our three-fourths. So one, two, three-fourths. So my final answer is two and three-fourths, okay? That's where we ended up on the number line was two. It's almost like a benchmark, okay? Um, so like if you think of a benchmark like... If Mrs. Fino has you do like a benchmark test for, let's say, um, sure, push-ups, okay? The benchmark that she wants you to reach is 15. I don't know if that's actually it, okay? But let's say it's 15. You wanna reach the 15 benchmark. We use that word benchmark as like, okay, we're shooting for that. Yeah, it's kinda like a goal. Um, and then if we add more onto that, that's cool. So two is like our benchmark, right? When we're doing this, we use whole numbers as our benchmark, okay? So one is a benchmark, two is a benchmark, three is a benchmark, okay? And then the fractions kind of fall in between there. So we started with one, then we added one to that, and then added three fourths, so it became two and three fourths, okay? Yeah, Emma. That's, yeah, that's where I, that's why I paused, but yes, technically yes, but our answer still would be two and three fourths, because so, that's what's in Okay. So I have it in 
like truly on the number line. So this would be one fourth, this would be two fourths, three fourths, this is four fourths. What's, oh, thinking ahead of myself. Okay. All right, after four fourths, what's the next fourth? Five, Five fourths. Next? Six. Six fourths. Next? Seven fourths. Next? Eight. Eight. Good. So two would be eight fourths, technically, right? Um, because it's two holes. So to make one hole, you need four fourths. To make two holes, you need another four fourths. Four fourths plus four fourths equals eight fourths. Eight fourths. Guys, four fourths plus four fourths equals eight, eight fourths. Okay. So then technically, this would be nine fourths. This would be ten fourths. This would be eleven fourths, and this would be twelve fourths. But 12 fourths simplified would be three, okay? So that's why, yeah, but Emma, that's a really, really good point and it will come into play later, so yeah. Um, Drew? Wouldn't it kind of be more work because you have to simplify it? Right, that's us saying, yeah. So for right now, you guys do not have to do that. You can keep it, okay, you can keep it just like this, one, four, two, four, three fourths. Um, and just say it because your final answer is going to be two and three fourths. Okay? Um, Donnie? Uh, I was kind of tempted to say um, when you got kind of like, you just like four, eight fourths. I was, I was tempted to say eight eighths. Mm -hmm. eight. True. Yeah. Gotta be careful. All right. Questions so far? No. Really? Today you don't have to do that because it would be a lot of work, okay? In the, but you have to know that this actually isn't four fourths, this is twelve fourths. Yeah. Okay, but since your final answer is gonna be that, it I'm saving you the work of simplifying, okay? Um so here's here's the big rule of thumb for this lesson. Focus on the whole numbers first and then throw the fractions in after, okay? Um, because we'll talk about that more tomorrow too, but when we see, kind of like what Charlie was already doing in her head, like, Charlie, you're like ahead of us, which is awesome. Like in her head, she's like, hold on, can't I just show two and three fourths? That's exactly it. She added the whole numbers together. Um, that's what we're working for, okay? But I want you to know how to use the number line and get familiar with the number line because it helps us to understand the value of fractions if we know where they fall on the number line, okay? So that's why we're doing the number line. It's not, yeah, so anyway. Last thing, Donnie, quickly, go. And then fractions are making me hungry because they make me think of sushi. Because it's like one piece plus another piece plus oh, another nice. piece. There you go. So fractions are making me very hungry. No, yeah. Like pizza. So it's like pizza. Yeah, that too. All right. Pizza. Cool. Um, so, here we go. Uh, you guys are going to do this one with me. So go ahead. Um, kind of towards the bottom of your whiteboard, go ahead and just draw a number line for me. And let's label it. You're actually going to need up through six for this problem, okay? So put zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's nice. All right, without voices, please. It goes a lot faster if you just whoop, put it on. No, no voices, nothing.
Bingo. Yes, exactly. So what you guys should be doing on your homework today, okay, before you even draw anything. Estimation. Bef yeah, before you draw anything, you are going to estimate, okay? So exactly what Emma and I were just doing, we were estimating the answer to the problem, right? So 2 plus 3 is 5, okay? But we've got a little bit left over, right? So it's like our, we know our final answer is going to be something like, Five and a little bit, right? Five and something else, right? Um, so, pretty straightforward, but it wants us to start. Um, also, my pro tip to you is to start with the whole number that's by itself first, okay? And then add the fraction onto that. It's just going to be a little easier, okay? Um, so, we're going to actually start with three. So, go ahead and go from zero to three and get, get to three. You don't necessarily have to go one, two, three. Um, just go to three. Okay, remember, add the whole numbers first. So what whole number am I gonna add to my three? Ready, go. Two. Two, yeah, one, two. Okay, so we just did three plus two. The three's done, the two's done. After that, what's left over? Go. Three, five. Uh, three tenths. Uh, yep, on our problem, what's left over? Three tenths. Three tenths. Three tenths, so we still have to add our three tenths. So this would be one tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths, eight tenths, nine tenths, this would be 10 tenths, kind of, right? So, 3 tenths, after that, add 1 tenth, 2 tenths, 3 tenths. 1 tenth, 2 tenths, 3 tenths, okay? Whew, gets a little squishy in there. Okay. Am I moving too fast or are we okay? A little bit fast. One okay. second. Okay, I'll give you a second. I hear some chatting, so let's, if you're talking to yourself or to someone else, let's... Because that's just the unit they gave us in the problem. Okay? We just work with whatever they give us. And so they gave us tenths. So we're going to split it into tenths. Okay? <clears throat> All right. Recap. We started at zero. Everything always starts at zero. We start with nothing. Yeah. And then they give us three. So we go to three. And then they say, okay, I want you to add two and three tenths to that three. Okay. So we start with the whole number. We add two to three and get five. And then we just add one tenth, two tenths, three tenths to that five. Right? So our final answer is wherever we end up on the number line. So our final answer is what? Go. Five and three tenths. Five and three tenths. Beautiful. Are you with me? Yeah. Okay. I know. You're probably like, this is like too crazy. It's going to get a little more challenging, so you guys can handle it. Okay? We're only on problem two after all. So. We are? There's four problems. Okay. Ready. Erase. And you're going to set up a new number line for this one. Uh, you only need from... Zero to one, okay? But okay. leave a good amount of space between zero and one, okay? So, so zero. The problem after this, we're just, I'm just going to have you erase a little bit of it and use the same number line so you don't have to draw a whole new number line each time, okay? But for this one, go ahead and just put zero and one. Some of you probably already know the answer to this one. That's great. But if you don't, that's okay. But we're doing it together, okay? So, raise your hand. What is different between this problem and the one we just did? Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Whisper it to your elbow partner. Go. Good. It's subtraction. So, we're not adding now. We're taking away, okay? We're taking it away. So, subtraction, does the order matter, class? No. no. Yes. No. Yes. yes. No, yeah. Yeah. No. Okay. I know I said it in a in a tone that would lead you to think that you should say no, but doesn't matter what tone I'm saying, listen to the question. With subtraction, does the order matter? Yes. Yes, it does. It does, okay? So where do we have to start with this problem? One minus one fourth. Where do we start? Wow. At one. So show me that you're starting at one. Okay. So put a little dot. Don't put too big of a dot. And we're taking one fourth away. So what unit should I split zero to one up into? Ready? 
Go. Fourths. Fourths. Okay? So this would be one fourth, two fourths, three fourths. Okay? We can even write that if we want. One fourth, two fourths, three fourths. What would one be? Four fourths. Four fourths. Four fourths. Okay. So all we have to do with subtraction is it says take one fourth away. So we just move one fourth back. Good. Okay. So we started with one. We took one fourth away. Where did it leave us? Three fourths. Three fourths. So our final answer is what? Three fourths. Three fourths. And you guys know that if I were to do that in a model, right? One fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths, right? Um, you guys have done this already. If I start with one whole and take one fourth away, boop, boop, leaves me with three fourths. Okay, it's the same idea, but now we're just doing it on the number line. All right, here we go, a little tougher. Woo, we're gonna need at least from, let's do zero to one. So zero, one, and two. Or sorry, my bad. I, I don't know why I said zero, one. Zero to two, okay? So you need zero, one, and two on your new number line. Ready, go. I promise I'll slow down. I'll give you a second. Fifth grade, you guys are doing great. I feel like we're moving at a good pace, but maybe keep the, the comments down to a zero, okay? Uh, Lily. Miss Witt. Yes. So, zero, one, two is easier than one. It's really easy to just cut the number line in half. And so the number like all the way to six, where you have to like space it out so hard. And so it's just yeah, with number lines, you just have to learn that it's like, or like even fractions, it's like not going to be perfect. So, yeah, that's something I had to learn a while ago. Yeah, Charlie. from two? Uh, three-fifths. Three-fifths. Mm -hmm. So class, if we're taking three-fifths away, what should I split my, what unit should I split my number line up into? Fifths. Okay. So I would start, um, I would start over by the zero and put one-fifth, two-fifths, three-fifths, four-fifths, right? So, and then one would be how many fifths? Zero. Five-fifths. Five-fifths. Okay, and then one-fifth, two-fifths, three-fifths, I see what you're saying, baby. Oops, okay, don't talk and write at the same time, Miss Witt. Don't mess up, okay, cool. So I would take your number line up like this, okay? Once you know what unit you have to work with and what unit you're gonna take away, I would, I would pause on the actual subtracting part and I would set up the number line, because then that way you're not like trying to do it all at the same time, okay? Okay, I'll give you a minute, I know. Fifths, right? Technically, we have ten fifths, but 
Right now, let's pretend we're starting at one. So one would be five fifths, right? Um, so it's just like normal subtraction, my friends. If I have five fifths or five markers, okay, let's change fifths to markers. If I have five markers and they want me to take three markers away, do, 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 that leaves me with how many markers? Two fifths. Ah, how many markers? Two, two markers, two right? My answer is what? Two, two, two fifths. Two fifths. Hold on. Not fits. We change fits to markers. So my answer is two, two, markers. Markers. two markers. Same thing. These are all back to being fits. I have five. I have four. four five fits. Okay. I have five fits. It's really hard to hold five. Okay. Um, I have five fits. They want me to take three fits away. One fit. Two fits. Three fits. That leaves me with what? <laughs> two fits. Okay. So now do that on your number line. One fit. Two fits. Three fits. Okay. Class, contain it, please. Contain it. Okay. Then my best advice to you, okay, is to then read your number line from left to right and say, oh, okay, I left off at one, so I know my whole number is going to be one. And then wherever my dot is is my fraction, right? So wherever I'm pretty much in between, right? Um, so one and two fifths is my answer. Okay. Is anyone confused on how I got there? What are we, what are we struggling with? You can tell me. Uh, not being able to eat during class. Yeah. Nope. Okay. Not part of the math thing. Try this. broke to do that, so I won't do that. Sorry. Well, how are you going to eat that? What's this? Mr. Beast. Okay, Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast will be back there on the fourth day. Mr. Beast. Okay. Officially, you have two minutes to get this problem done. Go. I might try to go. you compare with your elbow partner once that minute's up, okay? So start at three. Remember, order does matter. Start at three. And then start with the whole number, right? So starting at three, it wants us to take away one and two thirds. Uh, so start with the whole number, then subtract the fraction.
compare with your elbow partner. Ready? Go. I don't have an elbow partner. but it's a little easier to focus on the whole number first, okay? So should I take the um, the one away first or the two thirds? The one. The one, because I want you to focus on the whole numbers. Now, go. Okay, start at three, take whole number away. Three minus one, go. Three minus two. Two, two. two. there you go. Come on, guys. We shouldn't have to go back to yeah, kindergarten to first grade. Okay? Three minus one is two. Okay? Then we can take away the fractions. Okay? So one, this is one third, two thirds. What would one be? Three, three, three thirds. thirds. Three thirds. This is one third, two thirds. Okay? Cool. And then we take two thirds away. So here's one third back, two thirds back. So our final answer is one and one third. Okay? So I think it was tempting. One thing that we, one, okay, two big mistakes, two big mistakes, is to like in the, in our mind, like flip the number line backwards and see this is like two and something else, right? Yeah, but remember it goes left to right, okay? So it's one and something else, okay? And then I think it's tempting too when we're taking away two thirds to just go from two straight to the two thirds and call it a day, right? But you're actually taking thirds away so take one third away, then two thirds, and that leaves you with one third, okay? Um, Brady. Also, if like, it's hard for you to go backwards, uh, you can just put three, two, one, zero, and then like just add it, and then you would still get the same answer. Uh, I want you to go left to right, though, with the like zero, one, two, three. Like I want you to keep it in the same, okay? Just because when you get into the future, it's gonna, that's gonna be important, okay? All right, I think we are, yeah, we're good, okay? 